Welcome to episode 16 of Quantity Serving Program. In this episode, we will talk about rate and material analysis for block work for masonry. In the previous episode, we covered quantity takeoff for all the block work. For wall 200, 150, and 100, you can see the total quantity 341 square meter, 39, and 72. As a quantity surveyor, takeoff is not only the thing we need, we need to know the unit rate as well. Unit rate is the figure which we mention in the rate column to figure out the total amount required. You can see I have mentioned here 341. How exactly I got it? This is unit rate. But to get the unit rate, we have to done the all-in rate calculation. You may want to call rate and material analysis. Main thing is to consider all the factor including material, labor, machinery, equipment, contractors overhead, other factors, wastage, many things you have to consider it to get one figure and that figure is unit rate to get the total amount. So today's video will focus on all in rate calculation, rate and material analysis for block work. I have prepared this sheet in my own format you can prepare in any other but let's have a look from start to end to understand the concept. Now without any delay let's get started. So in rate and material analysis of block work, what are the things that we need to consider? The first one is material, which materials are required like block, motor and any other. Then the labor, that's the second thing, how many labors do we need it? And the third is tools, if the tools or machinery is required, we have to consider that. Fourth is contractors overhead, profit, we have to consider that as well, so all of the things we have to go through one by one to get one unit rate okay so blocks are the first thing in the material that we're going to consider there are different block i have considered block 200 by 200 by 400 to give you the example the concept will be same for any other size so the first thing we need to know how many blocks per square meter of walls are required i have mentioned here 12 but there are some people who says the thumb rule is 10 it could be 12 but how you will know the exact number? Don't go for lump sum. Try to understand the concept behind. So I have mentioned here 12, but there is one calculation sheet which I have prepared to give you the example. How many blocks do you really need in one square meter? And how much motor do you need it? So this calculation will help you to understand the concept behind. Fine. So first thing is motor. I have mentioned here 12 but this motor which is a giant spacing between two blocks it could vary from 12 to 15 or 25 because there is a technology behind what is the ratio what is the joint spacing it really varies so I have mentioned here 12 mm fine so one block length and width I have mentioned without motor that's the length and the width of one block without motor and the square meter is 0.080 fine then with motor i just sum on the length and width and that's the total square meter with motor and what is the factor difference so i simply subtract it 0.084 minus 0.08 so this is factor difference of motor this is the motor between two block fine we have these values now it will be very easy for us to find out how many blocks do we need in one square meter So in one square meter, one divided by block with motor. So by doing that, we can see it's 12 number of blocks required. And if you wanna know required motor in one square meter, so you have the numbers of block, you just need to multiply with the difference. So it's very simple. 12 number of block and this much square meter you need. And let's say anytime we change, the block size is changed. It's not 0 0.4, it's 0 0.2. You can see 24 blocks. So this minor calculation sheet will help you to know how many numbers exactly you need. Don't go for lump sums. There is a logic behind. Try to understand the logic, the concept. Okay. Once you know the 12 number in per square meter, now you need to know the cost, right? So in a UAE, it's costing me 3 AD per block. So I simply multiply. So 35 AD per square meter. 
then we have to consider the wastage i'm considering here 10 to 15 percent here by doing that 41.25 ad per square meter block gonna cost you so this is the concept till here to know the unit rate if it's a block i hope it's clear now moving forward the next is motor and here we need to know the required cement and sand the ratio is already mentioned one and six one mean cement and six mean soft sand fine let's start with the cement so in the cement volume of the cement as per ratio so the ratio is already given one divided by sum so we can see the ratio is 0 0.14 cubic meter fine the next we need density of cement why we need it it's because of density formula so 1440 from where i got it you can google you will find out the answer what is the density of cement once we have both value simply we need to multiply as per the density formula mass equal to volume multiplied by density i have mentioned on the right side it will be easy for you to understand what is the calculation happening here so this is the total required cement in kg but that's not what we need we need in bags so how many bags required we know 50 kg is one bag so if we divide it we got to know here 4.11 now we can't buy 4.11 bags so we have to change into five so this is the required material five bags per square meter once we know the quantity the next is we have to turn into ad ad per square meter so cement bag cost is 15 ad here so if i multiply this 15 AD with the numbers of bag, I know the total cost is 75. Okay, moving forward. Next is sand. Same concept, volume of the sand as per ratio. What is the ratio? 6 divided by 7, 0 0.86 cubic meter. Then the density of sand. It really varies. It's from 1400 to 2000. So I consider here 1550 density of sand. So as per the mass formula i simply multiplied so total sand in kg is 1328 it's a mass formula nothing from my side everything is logical okay how many tons of sands required because in kg we don't purchase we purchase in tons so what is the tons formula kg divided by thousand so here i know the total 1.33 tons per square meter is required that's the total required material once we have it the next step is turn into rate so per ton is gonna cost me 50 ad simply i multiply 50 ad with the total required sand and here i have the cost 66 so till here i have done the rate and material analysis for cement then the sand okay once i have both cement and sand the sum of both is 141 ad per square meter now in these two things we need to add a motor so motor charges i'm considering here 20 percent that will end up with 169 ad per square meter after this water charges what else so it could be a shrinkage a wastage so here we have to consider wastage the weather is very dry here in uae so more shrinkage gonna happen so it's around 40 to 50 percent so by considering a 50 percent of shrinkage it gonna cost me 254 so this 254 is the cost of only motor so what are the materials we need motor and block if I sum block and motor cost and then this is the total cost 295 so this all calculation all of it will end up one figure in a block work material is 295 but material is not only the things we need we need to consider labor we need to consider machinery as agree every factor we have to consider let's move forward next is labor here you have to assume little bit how many masons do you need how many labor skilled and unskilled depending on the project our pillar project is very small so i need two masons and two unskilled labor one skilled labor is costing me 70 so sum of both is 140 when it talk about unskilled so 50 is the cost of unskilled labor and both will cost me 100 so these are the cost for skilled and unskilled and sum of both is 240 ad per day labor gonna cost me but this is not what we need we need a square meter cost to convert this day cost in square meter we need to know how much work 
these four labors can finish in one day in eight to nine hours whatever the working hours how much how many square meter they can done it so as an idea they can finish 40 square meter in one day divide 240 and you will know 6 AD is the cost of one square meter so here you know the labor cost 6 AD per square meter fine now what about the tools do you need any machinery anything else I need a cost for tools and sundries. so here I'm considering 10 percentage extra for labor tools so after the 10 percent it's 6.60 fine we have the labor we have the material what is next here I have the sum of all material labor and tool 308 after all of these things what else we need to consider the overhead contractors profit which is 20 percent and by considering it total cost is 370 AD per square meter this cost we'll call it unit rate for masonry work unit rate for block work once we have this figure this figure we simply need to mention in a BOQ this is directly coming by all in rate calculation by rate and material analysis this figure so it's not from my side it's not from somebody else there is a calculation behind there is a thought process behind so once we have the unit rate 370 it just multiply and you have the total cost so block work 200 gonna cost you this much the same concept goes for any other size as well I hope you understand it okay so you have the quantity here but just to clear the thought maybe some of you are still confused and wondering what about the block numbers and still I don't know how many block numbers are required because in this project I'm considering myself working as a client's QS I'm not a contractor's QS who gonna order the material to prepare a material schedule so if you are still if you need to know how many blocks are required so it's not difficult so in this calculation sheet I have explained how to get the number of blocks in one square meter how much motor do we need in one square meter if you follow the same concept it's not difficult for you to get the total numbers of blocks required in 341 square meter concept is same so even if you are working as a contractor's QS and you need to prepare a material schedule it's very simple same concept and you can see the total number of blocks okay so this was the rate and material analysis for masonry work now if you are interested to learn the earthwork calculation and rate and material analysis for foam work for shuttering for concrete so I have already given the link on the screen plus in the description I hope you found this video useful if you really like and learn something don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below if you have a question feel free to contact me through any social media platform I have already given the links thank you so much for watching see you in the next video